Hey everyone, it's Jameson again, and a while back, when I say a while, it was about December the 2nd, I think, beginning of December, I put out a video where I talked about my history with White Dwarf Magazine, and a little bit of a rant about my subscription with the magazine. Uh, basically, in a nutshell, my first four issues with the new monthly version had not come on time. Uh, September was like two weeks late, and October, November were like, uh, October was a week late, November came on time, and then December, when I made the video, the magazine was already a week late, and I think it came a day or two after I made that video. And I was contemplating canceling my subscription, but the wife convinced me, just go ahead and let it run out, and when it runs out, then you can go pick them up in the store. So, January, February, March, every one of those months, the magazine did not come on time. Uh, it would come well over a week late each time. Uh, magazine comes out on a Friday. I wouldn't get it until a full 10, let's see, 7, 8, 9, 10 to 12 days later. And I would always see posts on Facebook or different places where people were talking about the new White Dwarf. So I knew people were getting it in the mail, I just wasn't getting it. And it seemed like a lot of people weren't getting it. So, April, and I actually got in the habit with the last couple months, when I saw it in the store, I just went ahead and bought one in the store. And then later one would come in the mail, you know, a week and a half later. And I just would file that one away. <laughs> somewhere else you know I, I got a shelf where I put all the, the issues after I read them those I just kind of stuck somewhere else maybe I'll sell them on eBay someday who knows not if anybody wants them though uh, but April rolled around here and I'm holding the April issue right here today I'm filming this is the uh, 20th of April so 420 I'm not gonna make any 420 jokes and this is the issue I bought in the store when it came out. And as of this day, I still have not received my subscription copy in the mail. And some of the guys in the store I talked to when I was there last Saturday, almost, uh, you know, was that five, six days ago, they hadn't received theirs. And I've seen a lot of things online where people hadn't received them. And in fact... I saw where the White Dwarf Facebook page even made mention of the fact that a lot of people in the U.S. weren't getting their uh, magazines on time and that they're going to be going with a new uh, distribution company, distribution house, whatever, whoever they got to distribute them has dropped the ball big time apparently and they're going to go with somebody else starting in um, with the May issue. I actually called them up the other day on uh, Tuesday. Today's Thursday. I called them two days ago and said, you know, I hadn't got this issue yet. Uh, I already had one in, from the store, but I was like, you know, I want them to know that, you know, it, it's not, you know, I didn't get it. So they actually, well, not FedEx, but they uh, sent me one via UPS, but it got here today. So I've got two of these now. So one from my shelf and one for the file. But I, I did that mostly because I wanted them to know that, you know, that you've got another one here that didn't get here on time. So I got that. I would have just waited or not said anything because I already bought this one in the store. But the wife's like, oh, let them know. You know, maybe, you know, maybe they'll give you something for it. But I didn't, I didn't get anything. So hopefully now, starting with the May issue, they'll actually start coming on time. One can hope. So this is what, uh, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Eight, eight issues in, so the next one will be nine. And uh, there will only be three more after that, I guess, before the uh, subscription ends. That's all? Well, how about that? But, uh, yeah, let's hope... And see that if they, you know, if they actually come on time next time. Because if that's the case, then I can stop buying these extra copies in the store and actually get mine in the mail when it's supposed to get here. So they said starting with May and maybe June, you'll see start seeing some improvement. So 
let's hope. So in the meantime, uh, I've been experimenting with bases for my Tyranids. I'll probably make a video for that this coming weekend. I've got on the shelf underneath where the camera's sitting, I've got a bunch of little bases lined up that I've been playing around with texture paints and uh, shades. And I finally, finally uh, decided on a theme for the base. So I've been working on uh, from that. So that'll be in the next video. Since I no longer have to do that weekly update for uh, Nick's New Year's painting challenge, that finally came to an end. Oh my goodness, that took forever. So I'm still working on the Tyranids for the whole inner circle thing. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.